hi everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how you can group your beams in proto structure grouping of beam is an essential part of um, structural detailing this way you have um, low number of beams and then your detail will be easy and very concise to read and interpret okay for example when you look at this beam you will see that it is symmetric to this other beam and most definitely the steel reinforcement arrangement will be similar in both in both beams all right so this can be beam one and this will also be beam one instead of naming them differently all right so let's see how you can go about that first of all what you need to do is you need to design your beam but this is the um, other structure I use for my last video where I did design and how to correct your beam when they fail Okay, so I'm going to use the same design results to continue this So I'm not going to design anymore If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can just check the last video I made I will drop the link in the description box of this particular one Okay, so let's get into this So you just need to come to concrete design and then beam reinforcement design and you go to story beams okay so you are going to see all the beams we have you can see all of them have um, passed there's none that failed okay what you need to do first is you can just check your quantity look at this quantity you can see you have one 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 all the quantity are one telling you that there is no beam that is grouped here none of them is grouped okay um but one thing you still need to check is if you see you have four 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 b four whatever forever so here you have three 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 here you have two 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 and then here you have one 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 you can see one b one one b whatever this is telling you that these are all the beams you have in the whole building all right that is starting from beam one uh, starting from story one to story four all the beams are here all right but i can't group story one beams together with story two beams together with story three and story four beams i have to group them story by story okay so first of all what i need to do is i need to filter okay so i'll filter so that i can have just story one here okay so i'll filter then i'll filter by story then by the number so i'll pick story one alone then okay okay so looking at this you can see i only have story one beams alone there's no story two story three and story four anymore okay so now let's go ahead to do the grouping so come to the grouping tab and then you see automatic grouping so you can group all by the similar axis okay so you group all similar axis so click on yes now it's going to group it for us okay so the grouping has been completed now you will see that some beams are filled that is not a problem that is due to the grouping okay if you look at this beam this beam is still retaining its design status it is still passing why if you look at the quantity you see that the quantity is still one look at this the quantity is still one look at this the quantity is still one look at this the quantity is still one that is telling you that this beam only have one kind it does not have um a similar beam here so these four beams are not grouped they are still having their one one quantity one one quantity but look at this one that failed we have two quantities which is this one and this other one so we have two beams selected and grouped as one so whenever you group them they will fail so we now have to you know redesign them okay all right so everything that failed here you see that they have been grouped but the one that are still retaining their design status they are not grouped beam okay so let's let's rectify these ones so let's click on this when i click on this two will get selected that is the two grouped one if we have five quantities all of the five will get selected if there are four all of the four will get selected but because there are two all of the two will get selected and when i correct them the two will get corrected at the same time so i will have the same reinforcement arrangement for the two of them okay so you should come to design tab and then you go to interactive design all right so for this particular one i don't have much um this is i have two i sixteen. i can change this to um two i sixteen. okay so you just click on okay and then here interactive design all right so um there's no much here so just click on okay now we we'll rectify what about here um nothing let's click on okay then here yes yes okay so here you can see we have problem at the top here 
the spam reinforcement are not doing well the hugging moment what's it called the top bars they are not doing well so let me increase this let me say 2y let's see if 2y 20 will pass okay 2y 20 will pass no 2y 16 what about 2y 16 okay 2y 16 will not pass let's use 2y 20 then what about here let's see if 2y 16 will pass here okay 2y 16 will pass here okay so that's not bad okay so click on okay yes then here mm, nothing is really wrong here so I'll just click on okay then here okay yeah okay i just have to fix everything in there when we're done you can transfer to protect details okay but you just need to check your beams at the time you'll be seeing something like 2y50 y50 uh, then you need to you know change all those okay so Okay, so here and um, okay, okay. There's not much, but you cannot just check critically, check everything. And then, why well, no problem? Um. Let me see this again. Yeah, you can change this to two by sixteen. Okay, so that's that's good. Okay. Um. Okay, what do we have here? Mm, nothing, nothing, no problem. Okay. Then here. Mm, what do we have? Okay, click on okay. I think this is the last. Yes. Yes. Okay, there's something wrong with the bar here. Who? Oh, this is even much. Eleven thousand now. They done. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Maybe this is this will take us about four, 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 four y sixteen. Ah, uh, four y twenty. Wow. Okay, let's see three y twenty. Well, I guess right for Y20. No, for Y20. Yeah, for Y20. Then here, two, two Y16. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so I think that's fine. Now we are done. All of the beams have passed. So now what you just need to do is you can just transfer to um, Plotter Details so that we can see what we have there. Okay, so close this and then you go to Concrete Design. You are going to load your Plotter Details. So to first of all save that, then you load the Plotter Details. Okay, so now we have the tab here. So open. Okay, so I'm starting by creating a new drawing. And then you come to your story beam here, your story beam, just click on this drop down. I'm concerned about story one, you know, we didn't make any change to story two, story three, or story four. So I'm bothered about story one. So you right click and then you pick this one, draw beam elevation. Don't pick on this one. This one is going to draw them one by one. Okay, so just click on this first one, draw beam elevation. Mm. 
just click on draw for now draw. and I just need to drop it somewhere just click anywhere okay so let's see one let's see one of the beams okay um come down let's span upward okay if you look at this beam this is a two span beam if you look at this first one this is 1b20 230 by 450 that's the section and uh, you can see at the bottom you can see similar beams you have 1b28 telling that 1b28 and 1b20 they are similar so we've grouped them all right okay you can see 1b21 and then 1b29 you've grouped them so this is how you go about grouping similar beams in protastruct so by doing this you thereby reduce the number of of beam elevation and sections you have to draw all right so thanks for watching if you like this video don't hesitate to subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching